Hi, I'm Graham from Castle Cameras, and today I want to talk about the brand new DX flagship uh, crop sensor model from Nikon, the D500. Uh, we're lucky enough to have a pre-production sample here. They'll be with us uh, in the next couple of weeks or so on general sale, but uh, we just wanted to give you a quick overview video of this today. Um, traditionally, DX cameras absolutely fantastic for uh, sports and wildlife photography so uh, if you're a Canon user you're probably used to using something like the 7D or the 7D Mark II. That crop factor, the APS-C size sensor, just gives you that little bit of extra reach over a full frame camera which makes them appealing. Obviously they're uh, smaller and lighter weight than a big full frame model as well. Um, so yes, this is the brand new D500 from Nikon, uh, the long-awaited uh, successor to the D300S, which is actually one of my uh, personal all-time favourite cameras. Uh, so this coming out is quite exciting for me. So uh, coming along uh, with this is, a, is an all-new sensor. It's 20.9 megapixels, so 21 megapixels for argument's sake. So not quite as high as some of the others on the market, but still very high resolution when you compare it to the likes of the old D300S which is 12 megapixels so it's quite a big step up. Um, it's basically a baby D5 so it's extremely fast it will shoot at 10 frames per second um, which is great obviously for sports and wildlife moving subjects. Uh, it's got an amazing autofocus system, amazing viewfinder, um, the, the actual construction of it is extremely well put together it's built like a tank big solid reliable so uh, lots of weather sealing and it will definitely stand up to professional use without doubt um, as I mentioned it's fast 10 frames per second but on top of that if you use the XQD card uh, which you'll see in there you've got twin card slots you can actually shoot up to 200 frames of raw images on the buffer so that's a continuous sequence of 200 raw images uh, in a go which is phenomenal which absolutely outstrips uh, pretty much anything else in this sort of price bracket so if you're a sports and action shooter that alone is worth the upgrade um, it, like I said the viewfinder is great it's got a hundred percent viewfinder which is something you'll find on mirrorless cameras but not so much on DSLRs but uh, yes looking through the viewfinder on here you've actually got a hundred percent so you can see the entire frame uh, one times magnification in effect um, so very big, bright, clear viewfinder, so which makes it obviously seeing what you're shooting a lot easier. Um, and then on that viewfinder, the autofocus spread is incredible. So a lot of cameras these days, the autofocus points are grouped together in kind of the center of the frame. So you don't really have any autofocus points towards the edges of the frame. But in the D500, that's not the case. D500, we've got 153 AF points, which are, cover the entire frame uh, that you can see. So really capturing anything that's moving is not gonna be a problem with this at all. Um, one of the huge features that this has over its competitors is the ability to shoot 4K. So 4K video in a professional body DSLR uh, is, is fantastic news and it will do 4k 30 frames per second and it will do it up to the full 29 minutes and 59 seconds which is a huge advantage over several other models that are on the market at the moment which only will do 4k for something like three minutes at a time so that alone again makes this a, a worthy upgrade to, to pretty much any camera that you've been currently using so another great feature is the tilting touchscreen. So as you can see, the touchscreen articulates down. So if you want to shoot high up, you can see the screen. And if you want to shoot low, you can also see the screen that way. But on top of the articulation, we have touchscreen. So you can select your point that you want to focus on and shoot. Amazing feature. I absolutely love it. Um, certainly makes using the camera a, a breeze to be honest uh, and also when you're reviewing images you can just hit the play button and use your finger just to swipe through the photos that you've taken already which again does checking previews much easier especially landscapes as well you can just pinch to zoom like you do on uh, something like an iPhone or an Android device again really easy user friendly just make little touches like that just make using it a breeze um, so along with the new sensor uh, this also has great ISO performance with a base ISO of 100 and it goes all the way up to 50,000 native ISO. So shooting in low light with this will be a breeze. Now, I mentioned, so as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be a bit of a 7D Mark II killer. Now, if you were to compare the two, um, 
you can see they're both very capable cameras. Um, currently, the, the, the 7D is quite a bit cheaper than the D500, but obviously the D500 is very new to the market, so uh, there will be a bit of a disparity between the two at the moment. But if you ignore the price and uh, look at the specs, you'll see the difference in terms of uh, specs really that the 7D Mark II has got GPS, which this has not. Depends up, you know, if, if you're really a big fan of using GPS on, on your cameras to log where you've been, but, um, you know, it's not really a major feature. Uh, and, of course, the ability to use uh, Canon's range of EF lenses, which, are, which is quite extensive. But if we look to see what's in favour of the D500, we will see the things we have like 4K video. It will do more shots on the buffer. It's got better image quality, more focus points, focus points spread all the way across the viewfinder, um, touch tilt screen, Wi-Fi and NFC and Bluetooth. So really, <laughs> this is leagues ahead of anything else that's out there. Um, so as I said, come into store very soon. Um, get your pre-orders in now uh, to get uh, delivery from the first batch. Otherwise, hang on a couple of weeks and we'll have them in stock.